OK 了，对吧？啊、uh, ，二，一，开始。Hello and welcome to CGTN. This is Real Time China. I'm Yang Xinmeng. I'm Feng Yilai. So this is the sixth day of our trip. We、uh, started really early this morning. So when did you hit the road this morning? Six thirty. Six thirty. Wow. So after six nearly hours, six hours yeah, driving,、drive. we finally arrived here in the Yueyang city in Hunan province. Yes,、yeah, so、we finally crossed the Yangtze River. Yeah. So as as I said, this is sixth day of our trip.、Um, to give you a brief introduction of the program,、uh, this Real Time China. It's a special program of CGTN to mark the 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up. So we are on a 10-day trip from Beijing and all the way down to South China's Shenzhen city to present you a panoramic view of China. So、uh, we started on Wednesday, yeah, right? From and from、uh, northern China's、uh, Beijing, yes, the, the capital. capital city, and we stopped by、uh, Hebei Province, Tianjin, and also H-、uh, Henan Province. And yesterday we were in Hubei Province. Today we are here. In Yueyang City. Yeah. So for those who watched our show last night when we were at. Oh, it's also my first time. So、um, we're gonna turn to some、uh, expert here. Yeah. yeah. So we find we we found a tour guide here to join us. Miss Xie Fang Fang, the tour guide here. Hello, I'm Nei Yang Lou. I'm the tour guide. Yeah. 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 南极潇湘千里月，北通巫峡万重山。So that's the that's the couplet on on the archway. 是什么意思？意思就是说啊，咱们洞庭湖往南是连接到了三湘大地，可以去欣赏潇湘月色；往北呢，则可以通过长江直接抵达到巫峡，来领略巫山十二峰的美景。所以呢，一副对联，它是概括了方位还有两地的美景，写的还是比较好了。So the couplet says,、uh, "This place uh, links to uh, two different, uh, uh, two、uh, so first is, different regions. Uh, so uh, yeah, two different it's, regions. It's the Dongting Lake, the, the Southern Xiao and Xiang River, which now refers to、uh, the whole province. Yeah. And、uh, also, it links to the Northern、uh, Wuxia, which is one of the three gorges. Gorges. So yeah. It's yeah. really a place of a、uh, graceful landscape. So let's let's go in. I was told that this place is、uh, the the, the Yueyang, Yueyang Tower and also the Dongting Lake are not just、uh, the most famous、uh, tourist attractions in the city, but also、uh, it enjoy a good reputation that the tower is the best among the towers, and also the lake is、uh, is incomparable among lakes. Wow. 是，那像您看这边呢，是咱们的那个栏杆儿，还有咱们的地板，都是有比较长的一个历史了。像上方，呃、oh, okay. ，那个装饰物呢，就是咱们的暗八仙。就是采用的八仙的法器，既起到一个装饰的作用，同时呢，也是咱们当时啊人们祈求平安的一个意思在里面。您说哪个是那个法器？这些就那个下面的标识。哦，这个 decoration here are actually the weapons of the eight immortals. Yeah, yeah. 是。They are、uh, uh, about that decoration and also the floor tiles here. They have a very long history. Uh, 多长的历史？这个岳阳楼。咱们岳阳楼它始建于三国时期。嗯。到今天的话呢，已经是有了一千八百多年的历史了。So it has a history of over eighteen hundred years. 对，那你想啊，这么长的一个发展过程，那是很难一帆风顺的了。所以呢，岳阳楼在历史上呢，经历过很多次的重修，有史可查的就达六十七次之多。Wow! So it was restored and rebuilt many times in the history, sixty-seven、yes, times. So when it, was, when it was first built, it's merely for、uh, military use. Ah,、mm-hmm. oh, 对，它是三国时期东吴大将鲁肃修建的， mm-hmm. 最早是一座越军楼。Ah,、uh, so it's、oh, built for、uh, General Lu Su、uh, during the the period of、uh, three kingdoms. Yeah, for military review. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. 好，咱们往这边走吧。Let's. Let's let's take this entrance, take the side side entrance, because as we can see there, 
Uh, at the main entrance, uh, we have another crew there. Our anchors of CGTN, they are also doing live shows for TV. from here, we can see the two, uh, one of the two side buildings. Yeah, this is the building. This is the building of the So this is a pavilion of uh, plum blossom. So why is it called the pavilion? It's from the time of the time. 那我们今天知道是梅花的化石，但当时的人看到栩栩如生，不知道啊，以为是仙祭，所以呢，就给它取名叫仙梅亭。so it was first built in Ming Dynasty. Yeah, so and when they built this, at that time they found a fossil of the, yeah, the, the uh, plum blossom. Uh, plum blossom. 是，其实咱们前面还有一座配楼叫三醉亭，一步这边的话就可以看到了。好的，So let's go in. This is the uh, first floor of the Yueyang Tower. There are still uh, tourists here. Tourists,就是神,关于神仙的这样一些建筑和一些装饰,那想问一下就是跟这个洞庭湖本身它就是这样的一个风光,是不是也有一些的联系? 以为是神仙居住的地方叫洞府之庭所以呢就给它取名叫洞庭山而咱们洞庭湖就因山而名叫洞庭湖了 Ah, so, so the Dongting Lake actually got its name from the Dongting Mountain and because it, it was so beautiful that our ancestors So to give you a better view of the main building of the Yueyang, Yueyang Tower, Tower. two side buildings, uh, so another pavilion is where we are. Yeah, so Sanzuiting, Sanzuiting, uh, the Sanzuiting pavilion. Mm. It's related so, so, to uh, one of the eight immortals, uh, uh, Lu Dongbing. Right. But here we can see the main building. Can you please introduce the building? Yes, of course. You can see the main building. 
。其实这个三呢，就取一老子的《道德经》里面的“一生二，二生三，三生万物”这样一个思想，取三而见。那您再看这个三层的眼角，也都是向外高高飞出的，叫飞檐。Uh, okay, so here she was talking about the architectural style of the Yueyang Main Building, and the architectural style here is very、uh, special.、Yeah. It has it has ma-、uh, three main floors in、mm-hmm. total. So the philosophy is、uh, taken from the Taoism. Yes,、mm-hmm. and also we can see the the eave here is、uh, is, is kind of overhanging. So, uh, you can tell us, 我们就是这个这个屋檐有什么特别的讲究？嗯，您看这个屋檐上它的装饰物也是不同的。第一层檐角呢，它是一只凤凰，而到了第二层呢，就变成了一条龙了。第三层啊，那些连绵不断的就是祥云。咱们中国古代的一个吉祥文饰，而这里是取一个龙凤呈祥的一个吉祥寓意了。Uh, so the eaves,、uh, as you can see, the exquisite decorations. They are、uh, the, the dragon, the, the phoenix,、yeah. and also the, the cloud. The first floor、yeah. is the phoenix, and the second floor is the dragon, and the third floor is the the cloud. Yeah, they're all symbols of、uh, luck and goodness. Yeah. 那我们听说这个楼，它在建造的过程中也用了一些特别的这个工艺。嗯，对对对，咱们这个楼它是一座纯木的楼阁，而且您看咱们那个屋顶，它是一个拱而复翘的这样一个构造，这个就叫盔顶，像顶帽子一样的。So the roof of the tower is,、uh, it looks like a general's helmet in ancient China because it,、uh, the roof was covered with the yellow yellow tiles and、uh, with curve. And so the building is wooden. We're told that it's made without Even one of the one one nail. Wow, that's 对对对 that's amazing. 整座楼阁全部都是一个木质的结构，而咱们这个盔顶它重达是两吨的，但它没有横梁， wow. 那它的重量呢就全部靠盔顶下方。您看那些密密麻麻、形似蜂窝的部件，就是斗拱来承托分散。Okay, so the archway, only the roof part, the top part, had as weight as weight as two, two, two tons. Yeah. And they use There's no columns there to support it. Yeah, they use a special structure called dou gong to support the the, the like roof. It's like small arches there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think this is the only building that used this style, the the general helmet style in building. 就是是不是唯一的？嗯，但是说保存的如此完好，规模呢就如此庞大的盔顶式构造还是很少见的。Okay. 啊，对，再一个在咱们这个中原地区很少见，就那个西藏那边多一点，盔顶式的构造。Okay, so although it's not the only、uh, helmet roof design yeah, of,、uh, of but, all the architectures, but it's, yeah, it's still very rare, rare in rare. Central China. And this is the only one that that's so large and preserved so well. Yeah. So yeah, let's go in. Let's cross this way. So Shimon, we know that this building is famous for not only its、uh, design but also for something else. It's Yeah, yeah, there are so many poles. So that's that's、um, our tour guide just said、um, the Yueyang Tower actually has soul. Yeah. Right. So there are so many poets came here and, and write that, good yeah, and poems their words and, and articles about this and this among, tower. Among them, the most famous one is a prose written by Fan Zhongyan, Zhong a minister.、Yeah. Uh, Of, uh, the Northern Song, Song Dynasty. Dynasty. He used to be a minister. Yeah, and eminent when he minister. Was,、uh, banished. He wrote that article named、uh, a memorial to the Yueyang Tower. Yueyang Lou Ji. So we all learned that as Chinese people, we all learned that in、uh, middle school. Yeah, Did no, you? Yeah, <laughs> 您看这边，咱们主楼一楼悬挂的就是岳阳楼梯的文章。So、this is a whole article of 岳阳楼梯 ，Memorial of 岳阳 Tower。这篇文章呢，之所以被称之为是千古雄文，就是因为那一句：“先天下之忧而忧，后天下之乐而乐。忧在人之前，乐在人之后，以天下兴亡为己任的一个崇高情怀。”那这一句话呢，也是将整篇文章的思想高度啊升华到了一个全新的境界了。So this article became famous because there's a sentence in it: 先天下之忧而忧，后天下之乐而乐。What does it mean? Well, it literally means、uh, worry before the rest of the world start to worry and、mm-hmm. uh, uh, relax, relax after, after the whole world yeah, relax. relax. But it it can also be interpreted as feel concern、uh, about the country.、Uh, Be, be the first to feel concerned about the country, and be、mm-hmm. uh, the last to enjoy yourself.、Mm-hmm. So, basically, this article is about、uh, uh, the, the grand view from、uh, the grand view of the Dongting Lake,、uh, standing on the,、uh, the, the the Yueyang Tower.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but the most important thing of 
this article is its philosophy to take responsibility for the country, for its people, and for the governor. Yes, exactly. So that sentence made the whole article famous, and then the whole article made Yueyang Tower famous.、Yeah. You may not know that Fan Zhongyan hadn't even、uh, visited this place. Really? Yes.、Oh, 范仲淹写这篇文章的时候，确实并不在咱们岳阳楼。他当时啊是滕子心写了一封求记书，还画了一幅洞庭秋晚图送给了他。他当时在河南邓州。那他写这篇文章的目的呢？一个呢也是为了鼓励啊，因为滕子心是跟他一同被贬嘛，也是为了鼓励自己的同僚。再一个呢，也是表达他自己的一个人生态度和政治的呃正直的一个政治观。So at that time,、uh, Fan Zhongyan and his friend Tan Ziqing, they were no longer work for the central government,、mm -hmm. so they were both banished from the capital. Okay. So he、uh, wrote this article somehow to to encourage, to encourage his, his friends who's gonna、so uh, he saw refurbish the, this this tower. Yeah. So although he didn't come here, he saw the Yueyang Tower on a painting, on a picture that Tan Ziqing gave gave him. So we can we can. We can say that in this prose, Yueyang Yueyang Tower is more like a metaphor of、uh, the, the 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 spirit. The spirit, yes. So let's go on to the second floor. 二楼是有什么？二楼也是一幅《岳阳楼记》的雕片，但这一幅的话就更加的珍贵一点。它是乾隆年间，啊、嗯，当时乾隆皇帝御赐的十二块紫檀木雕成的一个紫檀雕品。Wow. So on the second floor, there's also、uh, the memorial of Yueyang Tower, but this one is even more precious. 明显的要更加的精致，精致大气一点。Ah, it's more elegant here, because the the board, the wood is special. 是。他是乾隆八年的时候呢，当时啊，就是咱们的越州知府叫黄林道，他邀请自己的好友张照书写了这篇《啊岳阳楼记》。张照呢，他是乾隆皇帝的启蒙书法老师，所以呢，乾隆皇帝啊，当时还是御赐了十二块紫檀木，将张照的书法雕刻于其上。So there are twelve words here, and they are from, uh, Emperor Qianlong in Qing Dynasty. So the whole article is, graved. 这篇文章呢 ？On those boards。嗯，那那这一幅雕品呢？它形成时间是乾隆八年，距今已有了两百七十五年的历史了。It has a history of two hundred seventy-five years。嗯，是。好，咱们就更上一层楼，上三楼。Let's go to the top level。一共只有三层楼，是不是？啊、嗯，一共是三层。As we move to the second,、uh, the third, third floor, 对，那可能跟今天的高楼大厦比起来是显得小小一点了。但是呢，你想啊，它是一座古代建筑，从清代一直到今天，在当时来说啊，三层就算得上是一座高层建筑了。But it is a skyscraper in the old days. So we can't compare it to the modern buildings nowadays, but it's from Qing Dynasty, a long history at that time. 最新一次修建是在是光绪六年。嗯，清晚期，是最新就是到现在有多少年的历史呢？一八八零年到今天是一百多年的历史了啊。对。The latest rebuild was in 1886. Mao Zedong's over 100 years till now. And as we said, many、uh, poets have、uh, left their work, and、uh, here we can see、uh, some of the lines from uh, uh, Li Bai. Li Bai. So that's from、uh, Li Bai, a famous poet. In Tang Dynasty, and also here the, in the middle part is written by Jeremy Mao. That's a poem. That's a poem by Du Fu. 对，而旁边的这幅短联写的是“水天一色，风月无边”，它是唐代著名诗人李白啊，他所谓咱们洞庭湖写的一幅对联了。虽然是八个字，但您看上联写的是洞庭湖的白天，湖水连天，天连水，水天一色。下联写到晚上啊，清风有声，明月有色，风月无边了。And they all portray the grand view of Dongting Lake. Dongting Lake, yeah. So why don't we take a look at? So if you can see from here, the outside,、uh, that's Dongting Lake. So the Yueyang Tower is located on the shore of Dongting Lake. It is drizzling today, so it's cloudy and there's fog here. So in Fan Zhongyan's article, he、uh, gave two.、Uh, he, he he wrote about two occasions,、mm -hmm. both in the good and bad weather. Yeah. So it is really a、uh, 阴雨霏霏 right? Rainy day. 阴雨霏霏的天气了 But talking about Dongting Lake, is there anything special about it? 
啊，洞庭湖，洞庭湖有，它是我国第二大淡水湖，仅次于湘西的鄱阳湖。洞庭 Lake is the second largest freshwater lake in China. And it used to be the biggest. Yeah, but because it is like a basin lake of the Yangtze River, so the size actually changes through different weather. And it has a very long history. 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 咱们因为您看啊，咱们这个洞庭湖，它一年之中其实有四分之三的时间都是像今天这样被水雾所笼罩的，所以呢，在古时有一个非常有诗意的名字，就叫做“云梦泽”，就说它是像梦一样似真似幻。So there are seventy-five percent of the time in a year, uh, the, the scenery is like this. It's misty. Uh, it's cloudy a little bit. So it has a special name, 云梦泽 in Chinese. 其实古时的云梦泽呢，曾经啊，它是横亘于湖南、湖北两省之间，面积达到了七万平方公里，是当时当之无愧的华夏第一大淡水湖了。那、嗯啊、它现在的面积大概是原来的这个百分之嗯，对，现在的话还是呃，它在它的那个湖湖面面积呢，在历史上发生过很多次的显著变化。嗯，也是因为呃。后期的话，因为云梦泽它不断的发展，就是它的那个长江以北的一部分呢，就成为了呃沼泽，而长江以南呢，就保持着一片大湖，就是咱们今天看到的洞庭湖。但洞庭湖呢，嗯，它在乾隆年间的时候呢，湖泊面积大概是六千三百多平方公里，那到了建国之后啊，就萎缩到了两千六百多平方公里，到今天的话是两千八百多平方公里。应该说，相比于建国初期的话，就是说它还是恢复了很多了。嗯，那湖面面积的不断的萎缩呢，也是因为，嗯，就是，嗯，湖底的泥沙的一个淤积，再一个江湖水位的抬升，还有呢，就是人们就是围垦造田的一个工程的兴衰，也会影响到那个湖面面积的扩大或缩小。嗯，对。So till now, it has encountered some environmental issues. The the size of the lake has to stop the lake from getting smaller. Yeah, but how can we help to to protect the environment here? 对，但是，嗯、呃，现在的话也是有一系列的举措了，嗯、呃，就是通过退耕还湖啊，嗯，就是说，嗯、呃，咱们现在的洞庭湖湖面积就，嗯、呃，咱们之前说到了，比建国初期也已经是，嗯、呃，得到了一个比较好的恢复，啊、呃，恢复。再一个呢，就是说啊，嗯，咱们这边它的那个湖水的水质，从，嗯、呃，之前的类五类已经提升到了现在的四类。So we have uh so after the reform and opening up, the we the government has some policies to protect the lakes, uh to pr to protect the water resources and also uh the environment around the lake, the the cities, the province. 而且咱们洞庭湖，嗯、呃，还有一个东洞庭湖国家级自然保护湿地，它也是我国目前二十一个重要的呃国际湿地之一。那咱们湿地里面呢，嗯、呃，现在呀、啊，每年的冬季啊，这里就。呃，是一个鸟类的天堂，在咱们湿地观测到的鸟类呢，有三百一十六种。那这个数字啊，是非常令人惊喜的了。而且呢，占咱们全球野生种群数量百分之七十的小白额燕，也是将这里啊作为了他们最喜欢的一个越冬地。那嗯、呃，也正因为这样的一处圣地呢，咱们岳阳还被称之为是中国观鸟之都。Uh, so they've also done a lot to protect the uh, endangered birds here. Yeah. So it now it becomes it, even in the winter times, it becomes the favorite habitat for lots of birds for here for for wintering. 是，而且呢，嗯，咱们那个湿地里面观测到国家一级保护动物有七种，啊、呃，有白冠，嗯、呃，那个白尾海雕，然后呢，就观测到的二级保护动物呢是有三十七种的，有灰鹤、小天鹅等等。那同时呢，呃，有鱼类一百一十四种，水生植物六十八种，植物有一千一百八十六种，那堪称是自然界巨大的一个基因宝库了，还被国际权威人士呢誉为是人与自然和谐共处的典范。So this is the, the, the Dongting Lake, and also the surrounding areas become the uh, an example of how, how people, how people the, world, the nature, the can live, live together. together yeah. So I guess um, this is the top floor of the Yueyang Tower. Oh, this is a little arch here to support the roof. Mm -hmm. 
很杰出的一个代表了。像当年上海世博会，中国馆的形象就是一个斗拱。嗯 ，OK， so I think that's pretty much here for、uh, the Yueyang Tower. Uh, what's our next stop?、Uh, I think we'll move in on.、Uh, we'll move on to Jiangxi Province. Jiangxi Province. So we are going to Jiangxi Province, and in Jiangxi, there's another building, that another tower,、uh, one of the three great, great towers, towers in southern China. We visited the、uh, Yellow Crane Tower last night in Hubei Province, and to, today we are here at, at the Yueyang Tower in Hunan Province. Tomorrow we'll go to、uh, Tengwanghe, Tengwanghe, Tengwang Pavilion. Yeah, in Jiangxi Province. So stay tuned with us tomorrow. We're going to Jiangxi, and we'll continue to head south to South China Shenzhen, where the reform.